Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and yet again we've got another installment of the Hot Wheels car culture lineup of Hot Wheels Premium Series. This uh, is the Silhouettes and this is probably the most anticipated series of car culture for me um, just because I love the styling of all of these cars actually are pretty cool. My least favorite is probably the Greenwood, but we'll get into that. Um, so here's the cars that are in the set. Um, as usual, they have non-unique uh, back side of the card, and then the front side of the card is a unique card art. And we should probably just get right into it. Well, first of all, um, what is a silhouette? What does that mean? Um, basically, I mean, aside from obviously it's the silhouette of a car, uh, basically, it's a race car that's, you know, different mechanically from its production counterpart, uh, but it is made to resemble the production car, and it's done that purposefully for, um, you know, basically to promote the production car. Uh, so, although these are totally different mechanically than the counterparts, uh, which would be the production model, but uh, they are a purpose-built race car typically okay so that's anyway that's that's basically what a silhouette means um, this is a 76 Chevy Monza it is number one in the series uh, these unfortunately are found only one car per case now excuse me um, they may not be the most desirable model in the series but undoubtedly is going to upset some collectors especially those that pre-ordered cases wanting two full sets now they got to go seek a monza so i don't know how i feel about that uh, the one that got triplicated in the case is the rwb porsche which is undoubtedly going to be a um, popular model which you get three of which i guess is nice for stores but some people want two sets, some people want to keep one loose and keep one carded, and that's going to be difficult for those who pre-ordered. Now they have to actually go out and find another one of these. All right, so that being said, this is the first car in the series, the 76 Chevy Monza. Uh, this car has only been released a handful of times. 2012 was its debut in the Hot One series, and then you saw it the year after in the Flying Custom series, and then the year after that in the Road Trippin' series, which the Road Trippin' series was a series that was only available at Walmart, uh, from what I understand. And now we have this. So I do like that they chose to use this casting, and I think it does look very, very nice the way it looks. And by the way, these are, from what I understand, these cars are... Uh, the graphics on them are based on real vehicles that's also pretty cool so really neat monza i think it looks great of course these are all going to have metal body metal base rubber tires real rider tires specifically and they are going to have full deco so they do look quite good and this one is actually a very nice looking car i think this is very awesome that they included this in this series so a casting you don't see very often. And to be frank, I didn't even know this casting existed until this series came out. So that is car number one in the series. I definitely dig it. The next one is the 76 Greenwood Corvette. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of this casting. The only reason why I don't care for it too much as it just looks kind of like weird when you look at it from the top uh, proportionately uh, it just looks weird um, I wish it was a little bit wider and the headlights in the front when you look at it from the front look kind of crazy um, now the real car does have similar looking headlights but it just looks a little bit wider which I just think the car looks a little bit thin so that's my opinion but uh, pretty cool oh yeah do you want to see the car art I already wrecked the car art uh, there it kind of is there, but the card art is basically all going to be sort of the same. It's going to be a rendering of the vehicle, um, but it does look pretty cool too. So here it is, again full deco. It does look pretty awesome though in this livery. From the side, the Greenwood Corvette looks great. I just don't like it proportionately. From other viewing angles 
this casting is probably the most used one in this series. It debuted in 2012 in the Road Racer series. Then it was in the main line, uh, 2013, 2014, where it also had a Super Treasure Hunt release. It had a mainline release in 2016, plus a Zamac. It did have a Collector's Nationals release in 2015, and it was also a premium mail-in, a mail-in like a K-Day mail-in. I think it was actually a Toys R Us mail-in in 2015, and then it last appeared in the 2018 uh, throwback series that was found at Targets in the U.S. So there is your number two, the Greenwood Corvette. All right, and then next up, this is one of my favorite castings, is the 78 Porsche 93578. I really do like this one. Let's take a quick peek at the card art. There it is. Does look pretty good. I love the kind of 70s style that we got going on here with this set. And there she is. Very, very nice. You got all your sponsorship stuff going on there. Uh, the 78 Porsche, this was also at a debut in the 2012 Road Razor series, like the Greenwood Corvette. So it was first seen there. Um, and then it had a 2013 Flying Customs, and then 2015 was the closest thing it got to a mainline. It was in the Porsche series, which was found at Walmart, where it did have a metal body and a plastic base. I think it was the only time it was ever released with a plastic base. Then it was... Uh, in the car culture series twice one in 2016 in the track day set and then in 2017 in the race day set and this is definitely a welcome addition to the lineup of vehicles um, that has come out for that casting uh, so really cool of course metal body metal base rubber tires as they all are and a legit livery which looks really good on this Porsche. They could release this a hundred times and I would probably pick it up every time if it was in a, a sweet racing livery like you see here. So I really like it. I think it's great. Awesome. Glad that they included it in this set for sure. Really cool. They get to skimp a little bit on the tamples on this one because it doesn't really have anything on the rear and no way to put anything on the rear. <clears throat> and really, I mean, it's got stuff on the hood, but there's not much on the front of it, so. But it's great. I like it. All right, next up. This one may be the most heavily anticipated one, the RWB Porsche 930, which RWB Porsches are becoming heavily popular. Most notably because of probably Tarmac Works that has come out with a bunch of versions of the real deal. Uh, this RWB Porsche right here uh, does resemble the Stella Artois RWB Porsche, being that it is black with some gold on it. Uh, but it is a little bit different, so it is a Hot Wheels take on the car. Uh, this, of course, this casting is a brand new one, and it debuts in this series. I do have one of the Tarmac ones. I did not get it out for this video, just because it's really not much to compare. But because uh, I don't have the black one, I've got the Apple computer one, which looks awesome. And let me just adjust this camera a little bit. This is very nice. Um, it's got kind of a satin black finish. It's got very deep dish wheels in the back. Really cool the way that they did this. This car will be released as an RLC piece with an opening engine compartment. But it looks really good just like this. So this is fantastic. It will be very popular. They did include three of them in each case of cars. Each case of 10 cars does contain three of these. And uh, I don't foresee these hanging around at all. Uh, people will definitely be picking up this one as well as the final one that we're gonna look at. So, very, very cool. Full deco. It looks good. Um, you get that crazy looking exhaust in the back. Just a very cool looking wide body kit.
Porsche. So the RLC version is going to come with uh, Kira Nakai sitting on a chair next to the car. I am kind of excited for that. Um, it will look pretty cool. If you guys want to look up on YouTube uh, these RW Porsches and watch some of the builds, um, they are fun to watch and pretty interesting. So awesome car. Glad that they included it in this set. It just looks great. This would be the only car that probably really doesn't legit, isn't a legit race car, I would argue. Um, but it is really cool. All right, this next one is also going to be very popular. It is a Nissan Skyline Silhouette. And I was excited about seeing this one too. Some people didn't like the wheels on it for whatever reason. I think the wheels look pretty good on it, being white like that. I think they look really good. Um, this is another debut casting for the series. Never before seen. And it's pretty sweet right out of the gate. Um, really, really cool. This is a legit race car. A replica of a race car. There's the back of it there. Really cool. Okay, so the spoiler is a separate piece. So this wing on the back here is plastic. Um, the rest of the vehicle is metal. The way that it comes up right here, this is part of the base um, right here. Very interesting uh, the way that this one's constructed. I think it does look awesome. It's got those deep dish wheels on it. And of course it debuted in this set. So this is the first release of it. This is definitely going to be popular. I don't think this one's going to hang around on the pegs at all either. I don't think any of these really will, at least not in my area, um, which we don't really get a surplus of these anyway. Uh, I still got golf uh, car culture cars hanging out on the pegs yet in uh, some of my stores in my area. Um, but these are really cool. I actually debated on pre-ordering these um, because I just didn't want to miss out. But thankfully, my buddy Shiresh found them in store and picked me up a set as soon as uh, he could and so I can get a video out. And definitely dig them. They're super awesome. I really like this. I really like all of them, really. Um, like I said, my least favorite would probably be this Greenwood Corvette. But it is still really cool. Um, I do still definitely dig it. Uh, the Monza actually, surprisingly, is really awesome. I actually really like it a lot. Um, I think it is very cool looking. Uh, of course, the two favorites are going to be these two, but this is not that far behind because I really enjoy this casting. Um, the only reason why I probably really dig these a little bit more is because they're brand new. So... I think it's a really great set. I don't think it's going to hang on the pegs long. I think Mattel did a pretty good job with it, and uh, that's my opinion. So you guys let me know if you're picking these up or if you're leaving them behind, if you were excited about this series, which one is your favorite. always like hearing your opinions in the comments down below, so please let me know. And uh, thank you very much for watching my channel. This is going to be it for this video. Um, awesome stuff. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.